I think it's safe to say that this preseason currently has been an overwhelming success. Now, we've played against a range of very good teams. We've played against weaker opposition to test the strength of Pochettino's attack against. And after that, we played against top 10 European place teams in Brighton and also Newcastle, picking up respectable results. Tomorrow evening at 7.45pm UK time, we play against our local London derby rivals, or in my opinion, I kind of see these guys as like our little brothers in Fulham FC. Tomorrow is going to be an opportunity for Pochettino's very young squad and new squad to get acquainted to life in the Premier League and what it means to play against your local London rivals. Now let's quickly assess what went down against Newcastle because I feel like this recent pre-season friendly gave us the best examination of where we are at with Pochettino. It was a game of like two halves. I feel like we kind of slowed down a lot more in the second half once a lot of younger players were introduced on the field but in the first half we definitely saw some promise it was more about how we defended off the ball and it was more about our attacking transitional threat now Nicholas Jackson scored an absolutely beautiful team move incredible vertical passage of play and Nicholas Jackson was at the end of that move to bury it against Newcastle throughout that first half we saw the transitional threat of players like Mudrick on the left Ian Matson on the right and then Kunku finding the right positions to pick up across the lines. However, Newcastle still put in a decent performance and obviously the equaliser that we conceded against kind of highlights the improvements that we still need to make under Pochettino. Now, I feel like Kukurea maybe got a lot of unfair stick in terms of exclusively taking the blame for that goal. Listen, his positioning was a bit off. He was a bit panicked. Of course, he's a bit too tight to the defence. And obviously, by the time he had to react to that through ball in behind, he should have slide tackled, in my opinion. And instead, the ball went in behind. But if we look at how that move was created in the first place, we noticed that Anthony Gordon had an absolute free run to run through our midfield and play an easy pass with no pressure. That can't happen in the Premier League. We can't be that weak in front of our defence and this is where we need to make improvements in the market now because we need that midfield general to complement Enzo Fernandez. The game against Newcastle was a good reminder to see how far we've come with our improvements under Pochettino, especially offensively. We can't take that for granted but at the same time we must dip into the market now to strengthen in key areas to not undermine Pochettino's ideas. Two games left, Fulham up next the last one being Dortmund's. Are we going to be ready in time for our first Premier League game of the season against Liverpool? So my friends, in today's preview, I'm going to go through my predictor lineup and I'm going to give my prediction at the end too. So hit that like button, share your thoughts and opinions. Don't forget to check out the breaking news surrounding us set to sign the talented 19-year-old midfield player in Ugo Chukwu. But before we get into anything, today's video is brought to you by Parry Match. Today's video is sponsored by Chelsea's official betting partner in Parry Match UK. Parry Match are currently offering new customers the opportunity to get £30 in free bets to use on any football market, including upcoming Chelsea friendlies, when you place a £10 bet on any football market. Now to claim this promotion, you must create a Parry Match account make a deposit of £10 or more and opt into the promotion. You then need to place your first £10 bet on any football market on odds of 2.0 or higher. You must do all of this within seven days of registering your account to qualify. Now, all the links you need are in the description below. Thank you to Paramatch UK for sponsoring today's video. It's time to discuss the predictor lineup and to start with things, I kind of want to see more of like a full strength team because we're getting closer and closer now to Liverpool. This is our penultimate game of pre-season and I feel like the more time these guys have to build better connections and understandings on the field, the better we're set to be because with this type of football, it's got like a lot of like relationist aspects in the sense that you know, Pochettino will have like maybe four or five players in certain zones on the field and these guys must find the combination plays and link up of course to find solutions to get through opposition teams. We saw some glimpses of this, that beautiful combo goal between Mudrik and Nicholas Jackson. We haven't really seen a goal like that since we had Eden Hazard here all those years back, right? So 
this is like a sign of like positive things to come. But for me, yeah, the key thing that I want to see is more combo play between Nkunku and Nicholas Jackson. These guys need more time now to build an understanding. So as you guys can now see on screen beside me, this is my predictor lineup. Of course, Nico Jackson up front. On the left, Mudrik, Nkunku and Ian Matson again on the right hand side. Midfield this time with Andre Santos and Enzo Fernandez. And defence, I feel like we should play probably our strongest defence on paper. And that's going to be Ben, Levi Cole. I've gone for Trevor Jalaba, even though I was thinking about Silva. I'm just curious to know if he might start or maybe come on in the second half. And obviously, Reese James and Kepa in goal. Now, I'm going to start by discussing my lineup from top to bottom. Obviously, the undisputed start of this preseason by far, by a million miles, is Nico Jackson. I feel like this guy has like a transformation effect now for this team. He is the profile of striker that plays a role that really complements the rest of his teammates behind him. And I'm always saying this, man, if you want your striker to be successful, they have to complement what you're doing. Like if you're a team that likes to get your midfield in the game, don't sign a striker that likes to make runs in behind. Sign a striker that can bring his midfield teammates into the game. These are the type of details we've been getting wrong and wrong and wrong at this football club. But I think in Nico Jackson, again, another striker that is signed in that magic like 30 to 35 million range. We've seen Drogba, Diego Costa, and now Nico Jackson signed within that figure. I kind of feel like we don't tend to do too wrong. And I think the fan base is really liking this guy a lot, his personality. Of course, how he carries himself, the quality, that's the most important thing. The footwork, the composure. I mean, we saw the lightning um, step overs that he did against Newcastle with that really nice play on the right hand side. I think that's the type of striker that we kind of warm to, right? So Nico Jackson up front and then behind him, I do want to see the attacking lineup that Porch started with against Newcastle. I'm going to start with Ian Madsen. I think right now he is the best option to fill the role that Pochettino needs of slash right winger slash eight midfield player and we can see the intelligence of Ian Matson, you know making runs in field picking up positions in central areas of course freeing up spaces for the fullback to be high and wide but also playing close to the striker and it was no surprise that he played an exquisite pass in behind to set up Nico Jackson for the first goal He's got the intelligence to play in multiple positions. He's one of those players that can play in many positions for a very high level. He is someone that I think Pochettino has really admired during this preseason, especially for the intelligence and versatility. And right now, unless we maybe sign a kudos for someone else, I think Matson is a very good shout to start on the right hand side. Obviously on the left, Mudrik is showing more promise, more confidence, more explosiveness and more goal threat. That's the important thing. And when I'm seeing him picking up certain positions, it's reminding me of how this guy was used at Shakhtar, where he could go 1v1 against his man. He did have combination plays link up with if he made runs in field. You know, he wasn't getting 2v1 against him every single time. Last season, he struggled as the season went on because he didn't struggle when he started. But I do think that now, Pochettino knows how to use wingers like this. And I think Mudrik now is... I want to see him have a really good game against Fulham and really stand out even more. And obviously, Nkunku, he's had a great start to pre-season. Two great goals. A tiny bit quiet against Newcastle. I think he was trying to just like balance between attacking and defensive responsibilities and obviously we didn't play with too much emphasis on possession against Newcastle but we have to remember this and Kunku is equally elite on the ball and off the ball that's what separates him so it's not too much of a concern in my opinion but I just want to see him build more relations and understandings now with his teammates on the field that's the key thing for me. And to end things with the final few talking points, of course, I've gone for Andre Santos and Enzo this time. Now, Kasaide has been one of the most promising young guys so far in preseason. He's had a lot of minutes in game time, but I think it's a good opportunity to alternate between what we have. And I do think a more enforcer style partner alongside Enzo Fernandez is probably the best way to do things right now. Andre Santos has looked good. I thought he's one of our most promising guys in that second half against Newcastle as well too. And I do feel like realistically on paper, based on who we have in the squad at the moment, I think Santos and Enzo has to be one that we test out a lot more. And I want to see these two play against Fulham and then Dortmund afterwards. Santos has shown that he's good at receiving from deep. 
He can set up his teammates, he can carry forwards, and of course, he has the destructive capabilities to help us win that midfield battle, so it's a no-brainer. And of course, to end things with the defence, I'm going to keep it brief. I feel like on paper currently, in terms of like having the pace for a very high line, you know, fullbacks are pushed really high and wide to have that threat, can be left by themselves. But with a defence that's strong 1v1, but also is technically extremely accomplished in the build-up phase. And of course, Levi Cole, after seeing his game against Brighton, he was just playing passes that no one's ever played since I think David Luiz really. I've not seen anyone play those types of passes into midfield between the lines since Luiz. And the fact that Cole is a left footer guy doing this speaks absolute volumes about this guy's game. And then him building more understanding now with Enzo in the build up, Santos and a few others in the team, you know, finding Kunku between the lines. Yeah, hopefully he starts, of course, against Fulham. And that is my friends. That's my thoughts and opinions on the predicted lineup. Share yours. Do you agree? Do you not? If not, what's your lineup below? Obviously, speak up in it. So my friends, let's now end things by giving my prediction for our game tomorrow. And you know, am I might be too greedy by expecting another win? Now, Newcastle, I was disappointed that we didn't get up like three points against. Now against Newcastle, obviously I was a little bit disappointed that we didn't win. I mean, when you're staying up this late to watch games, and my sleeps absolutely fried me during this US preseason tour. I'm going to need like another week just to recover, to be fair. But the way we started didn't necessarily end in the same manner. And I do feel like it's time to pick up the intensity again against the Fulham team. And I'm hoping that the local London rivalry is going to create more of like an emphasis for these guys to want to impress now and get a win against Fulham. You know, Fulham have good threats, of course, and your Williams and many others, and soon to be Hudson and Doys at this rate too. But tomorrow, I do want to see goals. I'm thinking maybe Nico Jacks will get on the score sheet. And Kunku may as well too. And hopefully Mikhailo Mudru. They're three guys I'm hoping can maintain their goal scoring streaks in preseason. And tomorrow I'm going for a 3-1 win because I still feel like in midfield because we don't have Casado as a net enforcer. We could be susceptible to being a bit more penetrable in the middle, right? So my friends, that is the preview for today. Share your thoughts and opinions. I'm Nini FC. This is Blue Lions TV. I'll catch you guys later with some more videos. Cool.